Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. I'm your host, J.A. Curtis. You guys can call me Alex. And today we're doing, um, we're continuing our series on the CMS. I know we still haven't written any code and that's because I really wanted to take you guys across the journey of how of this entire process of building the website. And part of it is in fact not writing code, but preparing to write your code. And th that process starts with wireframing, then the design, and then finally code. Um, I am actually itching at the bit to um, to get to the code. I, I can't wait to get there. Um, that's where I'm the most comfortable and the most at home, but I know that it is important to plan this out and figure out what we wanna get going um, soon. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is working on um, two of the most important pages of our application, and that is going to be the page that displays the, uh, the videos, if you guys are there watching a video, um, the page that shows a video, and then I guess like a follow-up text post. So there's gonna be that page, and then there's going to be like a series page. So if there's like the how to build a blog with Laravel series, the multi-authentication series, these are series where there's multiple videos put together in a series, multiple parts, and I wanna put those together into a series page where we have all the videos together so you can find them in one place. And then as I add updates to the videos, the, the series page will update and so forth as well. So that's pretty important because things get really lost in um, YouTube sometimes because things get you know added in different orders and things like that. And so um, I wanna make the series page. We'll be doing that as well today. So we'll have those two pages is what we're gonna focus on for today's video. It's gonna mostly be a time lapse so you won't hear me talking. I'm gonna put up some music and we're gonna get to work um, in Adobe XD. Looks like I've got to do some updates. I don't know what that's all about, but um, we're going to uh, dive into Adobe XD here and we are going to work on the wireframe for these two pages. So the one main page is going to be the core video page. When you have a video um, and you're watching a video, then it, that's that'll be that page that hosts a single video. And then there'll be a page that is for a series. So if there's a series of multiple videos, then um, they'll all put, be put together in on that page. So that's what we'll be working on today. All right, so it looks like we're updated. Let's go ahead and dive into this um, and get started. So here's the new site. Here's what we did last time. So we've got our home page. I think our home page is pretty good for right now. And uh, we've got a blog page. So now what we need to do is create a new artboard.
All right, everybody. So that finishes up today's video. Um, basically, I think you guys saw me go through this, and um, I cut out a lot of it because there was a lot of me just thinking in today's video, trying to figure out exactly what I wanted when I did. Um, for example, this video, um, the video page here, I really debated on whether to put the video up top and then the title down below and then how to fit in like a basic video description with that was kind of tough. I wanted to also fit in this, um, uh, you know, all of the, the videos in the series, but I didn't really know where to put that without it like, um, I don't know, There's a, there was a lot of stuff going on in my head and um, I was kind of going back and forth on layout. So I think you guys kind of saw me fight with like how to lay this out. I knew all the pieces of information that I needed, but I didn't really know where to put it. And this brings up a really good point on why these uh, brainstorming sessions, and these wireframes are so important. Instead of me focusing on the exact look of this episode counter or um, the exact color of these lines and stuff like that, or the, you know, the size and weight of these buttons, instead of me worrying about those types of elements, I'm more worried about the actual structure of the page. And so it let me quickly move things around, see what worked and see what didn't. I think you guys probably saw that throughout there, the video where I really like, I'd move it up to the top, I'd move the length counter over to the one side, and I was really just trying to figure out how it felt and how the page looked and feel felt and um, this would have been really hard to do if I had jumped straight into the code and then I was designing the page. Um, it, it would have been really difficult. I would have had to actually recode it with all of these different layouts and that would have been a big pain in the butt. It wouldn't have been very efficient. But with this, I can just drag it, drop it, move it all around and get it the way that I want. Change the font with just one click over here in the inspector and stuff. Um, and all that takes way more work once you get to the code phase. So I was able to go through 10, 15 different reversion, revisions of this same page without having to recode anything. And that's why these wireframes are so important. You, I knew the elements I needed in the page, but I wasn't sure how to display them on the screen. You saw me go through it for a while there. I was actually playing around with the tabbed pattern to um, show all this content because I wanted to be able to show the forums. I wanted to have the written tutorial. I wanted to have source code and maybe the ability to download the video. Um, so there's a lot of stuff I'm just trying to play and I'm like, how do I get this all onto a page? And I had to play around with lots of different layout options from tabs to um, all sorts of stuff here to figure out what would work best for the page. And I think I came up with something that was really, really good. Now onto the next series page. Again, I played around with this one. Um, this one might need some additional work, but I just didn't really know what more to do. Um, I just wanted the title of the series, a brief description of the series, how many videos there are, the total hours of content the skills. Now these are going to link to the skills um, to show all the other videos and series with these skills attached to them. They're basically just tags. And then um, like a notification or subscribe to the series so you can get updates as new videos come out on the series. So I kind of threw that over here. Um, and then we've got the videos that you would, obviously these would be numbered. So one, two, three, four, and all the videos you'd click on it and go to the video. Um, and then over here in this section, I basically cut the content in half. So there's half a column here. And I figured I could do something with this half of the content, but I haven't decided what I want to do yet. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy them. I actually really like going back and watching them. I think they're really cool. So hopefully you guys get a kick out of watching them, um, doing some of these wireframes. And I might just film some every once in a while and throw them up because they, they are actually pretty easy to film for me to get some content to you guys. And then also, um, I actually really enjoy doing them. I really enjoy watching them. Um, I think they're really cool. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy them as much as I do. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. You know where the subscribe button is down below. Click it to get updates on new videos in this series and more series um, on this channel. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.